Hi, it's Tobias from Supernotes, and today I want to show you how to share your cards with other people and collaborate. And now this is one of the coolest things you can do. I have this card called um, University, and we haven't really talked about the sharing features before, so I'll quickly go over them. You can actually like every card, you can also comment on them, and you can then share them. So these are the sort of the collaboration features we have. Comments are very simple. I can say hello, and there you go. But I haven't shared it with anyone yet. And you can notice when someone you've shared a card with someone because this will change to a user icon with the number of people you've shared with. And every card is assigned a share code. So a share code is four words, and that's very simple. And you can copy it and then send that to someone. And if that your friend enters those four words, then they can go and join the card as well. And you can set a role as well before you share with someone. So you might want to have someone be a moderator. So that means they can manage um, the members, the roles, and remove child cards. You can have someone be an editor. So that means they can edit this current card, manage these comments and share tags, or just be a contributor. So that means they can only add content. They can't ever be destructive or delete any content. A reader, that means they can you know, just read this card. They can't really add any publish, publish any, uh, any cards inside this parent, or be a ghost you know, where you basically remove any permissions. So that's kind of that. And then you'll notice that you can reset the share code if you ever, you know, if I can reset it now, it's immediately updated. So if I ever by accident tell someone a share code and I didn't want to do that, you can then reset it. And you can also freeze a member list. So if you've told someone a share code, you don't want anyone new to be join this card, you can freeze it. So that's very simple. So this is really cool. So let's say now I want to actually copy this share code. And I actually have another account open in a separate bit of my window. So let me just put that there. Right. So you see now. Um, in the, the bottom left here that there's a plus button and we've, we've talked about you creating new cards with this But you can also join cards so if I click join and then I enter this this share code So please update payment hood and then press join I can always just press enter this then shows university cards So I can now join as a contributor so if I join it will then immediately open the parent card which you see is here and Show me the child cards so you know now I can see you can see it's immediately updated here as well the icon to show there's two people here and now I can see the member list, you know, is now updated and I can see that there's, you know, Tester and there's uh, me, Tobias there. And I can, you know, search all the members, see them between the roles. So again, really nicely done. And if I want to open this card, so if I, you know, double click or just open once and click there, I can then see the same view. So these are two different accounts. And now this is where it gets really, really powerful. So if you say in a lecture with someone and you want to write note cards together, so I'll say this is a new topic. And I want to, you know, it's actually a list of different items. So hand in coursework on Monday, and you know, ask ask uh, you know Toby if he wants to join our group, and we're working together. Awesome. So I've got this card, and then immediately as I finish that card, it's immediately added for the other account. So you can imagine when you're in a lecture and you're writing notes together, how powerful that is. But it doesn't have to just apply for students. This could be for meetings if you're in a meeting, or if you're in, a, you know, in an event space with someone and you want to collaborate with those notes. And so it's so, so powerful and quick. And then you can add new comments, for example. And then, you know, for example, if I now want to reply to this, say, this is a great idea. And immediately, as soon as I added that, that comments on the other account. So look how fast that is. It's insane. We spend a lot of time optimizing Supernotes for this. And it's really amazing what you can do with it. And the permissioning is, is also super great because that means that you can never sort of destructively, you know, do anything bad. So because I'm a contributor in this other account, the seed icon, seedling icon, you'll see that it's contributor read only. And I can't actually edit this content, but I can still see the raw mark and if I want to. So this is just a brief overview of editing. Let me know if there's anything confusing or anything that hasn't you haven't uh, we haven't covered that you'd like, and I'll create another video on that. Um, but yeah, I hope you've, it's been it's been good. If it has been enjoyable and, and helpful, get smash that like button or and follow us for more updates as well on YouTube. We want to make more videos like this. And yeah, I hope you enjoy Supernotes. I'm looking forward to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you.